Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today I thought it would be a good day to do a mask with me uh, because it's a busy kind of day and these are fun little videos for me to do. Uh, if you've not watched one of my mask with me's before, it's pretty simple. It's kind of like a get ready with me, but with a face mask. So I'm going to put on a mask that I leave on for 10 minutes. I invite you to also put on a face mask that you have that is good for 10 minutes. I'll chat a little bit about stuff going on in my life, not makeup related or anything like that, just stuff going on. And then uh, after 10 minutes, I'll keep track of the time and everything, and we will both have a little bit of skincare in our day. So what I'm going to use today for my mask is the Canadian Clay Pore Cleanser. I've done a review on this before. This isn't a review, but I will link to the review down below. I found that this was a nice, gentle, uh, kind of mask that made my skin feel pretty nice and smooth. Um, and my skin has kind of been going through it lately for reasons that I will discuss when we get going. But for now, uh, let's get our masks on. Okay, I have set my watch for 10 minutes and I can feel this bubbling and foaming and tickling quite a bit on my face already, which is going to be a little distracting. Oh, I just want to itch my nose so much right now. Uh, but let's talk a little bit. Um, my skin has been kind of going through it, not for any bad reasons necessarily, I believe. So I've been gone for the last week. I have been off camping. I've been at camp. Uh, so before I went to camp, there was something that caused me to break out. Not a huge amount, but sort of a cluster of pimples on my cheeks. And I don't tend to have that many breakouts anymore since I've sort of gotten my skincare routine down so for me that was somewhat new or I just had had to deal with it in a while I had terrible acne when I was a kid um, but then I went away to camp and you know I'm really piling on the sunscreen and also not doing my skincare routine like kind of at all honestly uh, the camp that I go to you're staying in very tiny rustic cabins with no bathrooms there are um, sort of Outhouses make them sound a little more rustic than they are, but there's little buildings with like, you know, three toilets, three showers, three sinks that everybody uses. And while, you know, that's great, um, it's hard to do your whole skincare routine in there and it's very, very buggy, especially this year. So it's a little harder to go through the whole skincare routine when there's like moths flying around you and that kind of thing and just, uh, or mosquitoes. So I find that when I'm at camp, my skincare routine kind of goes out the window a little bit. So um, my skin is looking a little blotchy. I have a few blemishes and it's just looking a little dull. Uh, I managed to not get my face sunburnt. I did manage to get my shoulders a little bit sunburnt, which is too bad. Uh, there was just one day where I was out like in full sun for too long, even though I'd put on sunblock. Uh, it's faded now, but I did get a little bit pink. Um, for those of you who don't sort of know, I go off to camp. Uh, this is my fourth year going. It's sort of a family camp kind of thing that my partner and I go to. And uh, yeah, it's just relaxing. Like we went there on last Monday, part with the damn Monday, stayed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and came back on Saturday. When I'm filming this, it is Monday. I had a midterm to do yesterday, so that took up most of my Sunday. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people ask, what do I do when I'm at camp? And uh, relax and swim are my two answers. I absolutely adore swimming in lakes and rivers. I just like swimming in general. Uh, if I could swim every day, I would, especially when I get to swim outside. That's really nice. I, uh, I don't know. I just, I'm... My partner and I have kind of talked about how I'm naturally buoyant and he's not. Like if I just sort of am in the water, not touching the bottom or anything, not even moving my legs or treading water, I can like put my hands in the air and just float there. Like just float like a seal. <laughs> like I just do that. And for him, if he's not constantly treading water, he just like sinks. So I'm super comfortable in the water. And I don't know, I love that cooling feeling of swimming in a lake. I love the waves. I love being able to just like swim wherever I want. Um, and there's usually a lot of activity going on. So I kind of like people watching and just seeing what's going on around me. So a big part of it is that I swim every day when I'm there, if not twice a day. 
uh, and that is a huge, huge thing for me. Uh, apart from that, it's really nice. There's like a dining hall there and you don't have to cook any of your own meals or clean up any of your own meals. Uh, ooh, my mask is dripping off of me. Um, I mean, you clean up a little bit and that you sort of scrape off your plates and pack them, like pile them up. But uh, other than that, it's all taken care of. And yeah, then we spend sort of a lot of time reading and just kind of sitting around and honestly taking naps, which for the hottest parts of the afternoon is like, the perfect thing to be able to do. So there's a lot you can do when you're at this camp that we go to. The very first year I was there, I did some crafts and stuff like that. They do little tournaments. So you can do like, that for people who enjoy playing cards, there's like bridge and euchre. There's also like tennis tournaments, shuffleboard tournaments, ping pong tournaments, um, chess tournaments, uh, and more than that that I'm just not thinking of. And again, in my first couple years, I took part in those. But after that, I kind of just, I like doing nothing. It's a chance to just do nothing. And I worked really hard at getting my schoolwork all done ahead of time uh, as much as possible so that I didn't really do anything when I was there, uh, which was really nice. They have sort of Muskoka chairs, or if you're in the States, you call them Adirondack chairs, I believe, around the camp. So being able to like sit in the shade and just read or just zone out is just so nice. Uh, in the evenings, uh, starting at about 10 p.m., some nights there are campfires that you go to and people who are musical, not me, I'm not musical whatsoever, bring their guitars, their ukuleles, um, and play music and people sing along. And uh, the camp itself, you don't have alcohol at, but you can sort of bring your own and have it around your cabin. And then people tend to have it at the campfire because it's just kind of adults only. And uh, yeah, uh, if you do go there and you have kids, there's like kids programs for them to do. So one day during the week, my sister and my nieces came up to visit for the day. It's about an hour and a half drive from where we live, um, maybe two hours. Uh, so they were able to come up, have lunch and dinner with us, and we spent like the entire day in the lake playing in the water. Uh, there's so many other little kids there that the kids had, you know, people to play with. And uh, it was just really enjoyable and really relaxing and just a nice way to spend a week. And now I'm back into all my schoolwork again, having to catch up with lectures and things that happened while I was away. Uh, but it was a really good chance to unwind. I would say the only thing that was a little hard this time is you get assigned different cabins. And I've actually done a video on camp before. Uh, so often we've stayed in a cabin where we sort of have like a double bed and it's a little bit of a bigger space. This time we were, those ones were booked already. So we were assigned one that was like a very small cabin with like two bunk beds. So my partner and I each took like a bottom bunk, um, which is two bags. We like, you know, sleeping beside each other. Uh, but the other thing is we bring a fan along to move the air around and when you're both sleeping in the same place you can kind of aim the fan at you but when you're in two separate beds you kind of have to have it oscillating back and forth and you don't get as much uh, airflow. In the last couple days we were at camp it was hot like steamy humid hot so it was like 32 degrees not counting humidity in celsius i don't know what that is in fahrenheit but maybe i'll figure it out and put it down here uh, and we often figure out um, what the humidex is so what it feels like with the humidity and i believe it was 42 or 43 is what it felt like so we were sort of trying to like lay low in the afternoons on the really hot days um, but I will say the last couple of days there were hard to sleep. It was just so warm. So although we really enjoyed our time at camp, we were enjoying getting back and being able to sort of get back into the swing of things and be in air conditioning again because there is nowhere at camp that is air conditioning or air conditioned. Um, so really the only relief comes from getting into the lake or eating lots of popsicles and ice cream, which also happened when I was there. So looking forward to the rest of the summer, I know I've mentioned this before as well, that where I live, and I am sort of sitting in front of a big window, all the windows are sort of on one part of the apartment that I rent here, um, there's a concert that goes on, a uh, blues fest, uh, but it's not just blues music. And the way that the concert happens in the field that is like right outside of my place is the stage is facing towards my place. So while I'm 
pretty far away. You know, like if I see the people on stage, they're only about that big. I can hear the music really clearly. So last night was um, James and the Psychedelic Furs and Killers. Uh, sometime coming up in the next week is like Backstreet Boys and there's a number of different um, bands playing. So it's kind of fun because I get to hear all the music. Uh, there's also a lot more activity in my neighborhood than there usually is, which I find to be pretty fun. Uh, so that will happen for about the next week or so. And yeah, over the next four, five, six weeks, I'm going to be pretty slammed with schoolwork because I'm in the last bit of my last semester. So all my projects are going to be due and then it will be exams that I'm doing. And exams are going to be a little weird this year because usually I would go to the local university even though I'm doing the courses distance education through a different Canadian university. They have an agreement where I go there and do my exams. But because it's the summer semester and they're not staffed, uh, this time I'm going to be doing, and I don't quite know how this works yet, I'm going to be doing my exams at home, but I'm going to be setting up my laptop and webcam so that I'm being filmed so that a proctor will watch and make sure that I'm not cheating or anything like that. So on the one hand, it's kind of nice I could do this at home, but on the other hand, I'm curious what it's going to be like when I'm not in that physical exam space. So we will see. But that is what has been going up with me, going on with me for the last week, and also what is coming up for me over the next month or two. And we have hit 10 minutes. So I'm going to stop the timer. I'm going to thank you all for joining me today. I'm going to go wash this off of my face. It feels very tingly and bubbly right now. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know down below topics you would like me to discuss in future Mask With Me's, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye!